locked. Zubin was the first Nexus 6 I'd come up against. There was something in his eyes, an almost primordial desire to live. Most of the 3s, 4s, and 5s I'd seen would just give up when you had them. But these 6s, they were a whole other breed. Portrait of the Sleep Deprived. Got your delivery here, man. Oh, uh, what? Kingston Kitchen. Oh, yes, right. Hold on. Pick up. Hope you aren't camped out there with a bottle of tequila. Oh, very funny. Early bird slays the worm, McCoy. Don't worry, I'm up, Lieutenant. What's the buzz? One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. Inside? That's right. But we also got a sweet little break at it. Tyrell's surveillance system recorded the whole shebang. Beautiful. How many perps? Just one. I don't know if it's related to the runs that are dealer or not. Tyrell Security will have the disc for you when you get there. You'll be good, killer. Your floor number, please. Roof. McCoy, LPD. Just a minute. Where do I go? Grab test on the east wing, 66th floor. Here's the footage from the security cameras. You get a pretty good look at the man's face. How'd he get past you guys? He pretended to be a delivery man. Dr. Eisendooler ordered in a lot, so it didn't seem unusual. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir.
The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me, like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates? Jesus. I've seen worse, but not by much. Learn anything? You could strain him through a sieve. Takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. Obviously he'd been killed with an explosive, and not just because he'd been plastered on the wall with a thousand strokes. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story, but I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. This hearing yours? Maybe it belongs to that other cop who was up here, the babe with the shades and the cigarettes. Ain't her style. Call her babe to her face, you're liable to end up with a severe limp. You spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. Lagging behind again? Kuza didn't say anything about me working with a partner. Oh, <laughs> in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. Could be it's linked to this Tyrell debacle. How's yours connected to mine? I'm still putting the pieces together. It's all stored in Esper's mainframe. You hear about the Moonbus massacre? Jeff yeah, mentioned it. Could be our cases are overlapping. I might keep you posted. Do that. You know if anyone lost an earring like this one lately? Not one of the employees, that's for sure. The boss enforces a strict dress code around here. How did Eisendoller's Moo Moo fit in? <laughs> hey, you know, company rules only apply to the lesser mortals. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. 
Tyrell Grab Test Pad. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animal Row. Give me a hard copy of that. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? Give me a hard copy of that. Give me a hard copy of that. Takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. Give me a hard copy of that. Your floor number, please. Roof. 